Now, the second experience that I experienced was actually two days ago. Now, I had one of my friends over. He was sleeping on the floor and my girlfriend was sleeping next to me. And uh, I woke up early morning. Uh, I meditated for a little bit and then I went back to bed. I was actually listening to some binaural uh, beats for a little bit. So I was able to relax deep enough to induce the vibrations. And then when that happened, I actually, uh, through my blindfold, uh, the, the whole room again materialized in front of me. And uh, I saw my friend just get up. I saw him get up and I saw him uh, walk around the bed. And he walked to the bathroom, which is at a door, which is right next to my bed. That's actually at the door right behind me. You can't really, I don't know if you can see it, like the screen's kind of like whited out behind me. So yeah, uh, I'm actually I'm actually sitting on the bed right now. So he walked around me. He walked around me, like past the bookshelf behind me, and he went through the door behind me. And uh, when I was looking at him, it was interesting. He had like a blue tint to him, like a blue shade, a blue outline to him. He went into the door, and then he walked back out. And then as he walked back out and he walked to the edge of my bed, he kind of looked at me and like he, he like he held out his hand like this, kind of like a wave. So after the vibrations faded, after I woke up, after I took off my blindfold, uh, I saw him on the floor and he was just on his phone. He usually wakes up pretty early. Uh, and then I asked him like, hey, uh, dude, did you go to the bathroom just now? And then he just looked at me and he said, no, uh, I, I didn't. And then I sat there for a little bit and then I asked him again and I said, did you go to the bathroom at all today or this morning? And then he said, no, I didn't go. So I just assumed that what I experienced was nothing more than just a random thing in the astrals during the vibrations and it didn't really have to do with anything so then uh later i went back to sleep and then uh, i ended up waking up eventually and uh, by this time i i put the blindfold back on and uh even though i woke up I just kind of lay there in bed trying to go back to sleep. I was just really tired for some reason. And uh, that's when I hear my friend get up. That's when I hear him get up, go around the bed, go uh, past the bookshelf, and then he uh, opens the door, he goes into the bathroom, and then eventually he comes back. And by the way, I'm not actually seeing him do this. I can just hear him and feel him do this. Uh, right when he gets to the side of my bed, like right next to my bed, he says, all right, man, uh, I'm going to get going. So then I take off the blindfold and then I walk him out. Now, the thing that I don't know is how did he wave to me when he left? Or did he even wave to me at all when he left? Did he, did he do this to me? Like, hey, man, I'm going to get going. Uh, when he left, thing is, uh, I don't know so did I experience uh, a future variable or a future uh, event when I was experiencing the vibrations or again was it nothing more than just a random thing that I saw because I mean the thing is it's easily predictable like if you wake up in the morning and you're just chilling in my room. There's going to be an eventual time where you do have to go to the bathroom. I mean, there's going to be eventual time where uh, you're going to get up from the foot of my bed and you're going to go around and you're going to go. And then, uh, so that's that experience.